Hello, this is Kyle Thompson from TCG Systems, and today I will be demonstrating a five minute Viata OpenVPN server setup. Uh, we're big fans of Viata here at TCG. Uh, it's a software package that you can install on just about any piece of hardware, and you can also virtualize it as well. And it's rock solid, our clients are all very happy with it. Um, it's very stable, very secure. And about five, well, actually about four years ago, they started including uh, open VPN software inside the build and that's great because it allows you to do very secure uh, open VPN client setups and it also allows you to do site-to-site -site connections as well so we'll get started here the first thing I want to show is here are all the commands uh, the reason we're doing this is when we started messing with this it was hard to find information on the configuration of both the Linux and the Viata CLI side so the first part you see there is the uh, Linux commands to build the OpenVPN server, and the second part is setting up the Viata CLI. So we're going to run through that real quick. And first thing you're going to need is an SSH tool. We like PuTTY. And you're also going to need an SCP tool. We like WinSCP. So first things first, go into, get into the Linux side as root. And to make this a five minute class instead of a 45, I'm not going to type, I'm going to copy and paste the majority of it. First, you've got to copy the Easy RSA folder contents after you go to it. Then you need to direct yourself over to the Easy RSA folder. And the first thing you need to do anytime you're logging in, add users, do different things, is source your bars. And you always, anytime you do a build, you want to clean all just in case you used it before or, you know, so it's a good thing to do when you're getting started. Uh, now we're going to build the certificate authority. Uh, I'm not going to change any of these fields, obviously, if it was a customer, uh, but I am going to do the common name, and the common name should be constant throughout your installation. Okay, and now let's build the key server. I had already pulled the common name. Challenge password, I don't like doing challenge passwords unless it's a pretty dynamic uh, environment. We don't have much communication with the client. Uh, the best thing to do is revoke the certificates. And the only way you can do that is if you do your CRL setup. So um, your certificate revocation list. But like I said, we're not doing that today. We're not doing client connections. We're not doing anything else but the server build. So I'm gonna say no on that. And I'm going to sign it. And then I am going to commit it. Boom. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is add the first client. Beautiful. And then the last thing I'm going to do is build my Dilfa Hilleman encryption. It says it's going to take a long time. It doesn't about four seconds and because I'm recording this of course it's going to take like 40 minutes I've never seen you take this long This is an old box OS uh, client. They've ordered some hardware. The hardware hasn't showed up, so we just installed Viata on a little PC in the back. We threw an extra NIC on it, and we've got about 50 people running on this, and no problem. So it's just one example of how handy it is to be familiar with Viata. So we're going to get out of here now, and we're going to get into config mode, and we're going to the Viata CLI. 
I said, I suck at typing. Okay, obviously you don't want to copy all the IP information, that's going to be unique to each client. Depending if you're doing RIP, I don't, whatever you're doing, you know, I usually like to set a small subnet. There really shouldn't be too many people connecting to the VPN. And the system's pretty smart. If you type in the wrong subnet or you type in the wrong IPs, the commit will fail. So always double check that while you're doing your configuration. I'm not going to do this right now, set interfaces, the, the pushing the options out. This is nice if you need to push a route or set certain DNS servers, but we're not going to do this for the setup. And now I'm going to grab these guys. It's important that you set the IP address for the client uh, for tracking purposes. That's going to come in real handy as you're trying to figure out who's in, touching what files um, when you go into the OpenVPN server status commands. Now before I hit commit, I'm going to go into the easy RSA, sometimes you have to refresh keys. And I'm going to drag, what I do is I create a folder, and I'm going to drag all the keys that I need over to a folder on the desktop. And then I go into, as of I think version 6, um, you, you can do images, which are much better than installs. So you can go have multiple images on a box, but the only way to back that up is go into oops, config, authorization. You don't have to do that. I've just set this box up a couple times before. Beautiful. Okay, now let's hit commit. And save. If you don't get an error, it's working, but just double check. Exit. Show. Open VPN. Servers. And boom. Open VPN server status. It's up and running. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.